Hello, I'm Sergio Angelis, Executive Director for LPM, and uh, here's another LPM 101 video, this time on the Roadcaster Pro, uh, which is used in our podcast studio, which is the room that I'm in now. Uh, the Roadcaster Pro is a self-contained podcasting unit that has four different mics, as well as the ability to have a Bluetooth uh, phone connected to it, a separate phone connected to it, a soundboard, and a bunch of other really cool stuff to help you create a really great sounding podcast. So let's get started. Uh, so this is the unit itself right over here. And you'll notice I'm actually recording because I'm using it. So um, you'll be able to hear me during this, this class. Um, but right off the board, uh, pun intended, you will see um, there are four different channels here which represent mics one, two, three, and four. Those mics are accurately marked on the microphone itself. Each microphone also has a fader. Then you have three other faders next to that. One of, when it, one of which is for USB, another one is for a phone uh, jack. Another one is for Bluetooth, so if you wanted to have a call-in guest, simply connect your phone via Bluetooth and voila. And then last but not least, you have another volume fader uh, specifically for uh, the producer, and that's these headphones here. So you could actually have five people here, one person uh, who is the producer of the podcast, just kind of listening um, or adding sound effects while you know the whole podcast is, is being recorded. At the bottom of these faders, you'll see two buttons, a green one with an ear on it, and then a red one with a mic uh, symbol on it. Uh, the green one is basically just like if you want to just solo that, um, that mic directly to the producer. And then the mic, the red one is if you want to completely mute that person. So you're able to do that on the fly. On the top of mics one, two, three, and four, you'll notice that there will be numbers saying one, two, three, and four. You can actually press that. Um, and once you do, you get into the actual settings of the microphone and it'll prompt it up and show you those settings on the uh, touch screen right above it. So right off the bat, you'll see one of them is called microphone. So if you touch that, you can see that there are uh, pre-made settings on the type of microphone that is connected into here. We're currently using the Rode Pod mic, um, so all of them are already configured. But if you had a different type of mic, like a condenser mic or an EV RE20, uh, you could, in theory, plug it in and just have the Rodecaster Pro uh, pick it up and just and, and know that that's the type of microphone you're using. So you can hit back. Then another thing you want to do is there's a level. So this will actually show you the level of uh, the audio. And one of the first things that I would recommend doing when you uh, start recording a podcast is to just sit down kind of like how I am here and just talk normally. And then on the actual level meter itself, you want to try to make sure that the top of that um, volume is in the middle of these two green spots right here near the top and that makes it so that it's just going to pick up a, the volume of your voice um, pretty well and you can just do that by increasing the level here um, or declining it one of the other thing you can do too is you can add a voice voice setting so if you want to change the voice strength you can make it stronger or softer uh, we tend to keep it for medium. You can also change the tone of the voice as well. Make it higher like this or deeper like that. Uh, but we keep it medium. But again, you can change all those settings. And then going back and then in the advanced settings, uh, there's a real a lot of really cool effects that the, that road is adding to the recording itself. So you got your standard compressors, high pass filters, DSers, as well as noise gates. Um, we tend to leave all those on uh, just to make it simpler for people to come in and just record a podcast and keep it sounding really great. Um, but again, you are more than welcome to turn those off and use, you know, uh, and apply some of those effects in post production if that's what you'd like. So again, uh, if you hit back, um, you can do each one of the each one of the microphones um, has. Uh, those same exact settings. You literally just need to hit the mic button. So it's either one, two, three, or four. Um, 
and you get to that directly. So on the uh, touch panel top, you'll see uh, it'll let you know the, the volume um, of, of all the mics that, uh, you know, and the volume levels of the, the dB levels. Um, I'll also tell you at the top right uh, the amount of space that's currently left uh, in the recording. So we have about an hour and seven minutes left here. Obviously, it'll tell you if it's recording because this button will turn red. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to know there. Um, this section over here, this lets you control the volume levels for the individual headphones attached to each one of the mics. So that way you can, you know, you can listen to yourself or other people and just kind of keep it self-contained. Um, and you can change those settings on, um, again, right here on these dials. The other cool thing is um, these lights here. Um, so these are actually uh, sound bite panels that you can configure uh, to have your own sound effects. So the way that works is you'll go over here on the computer and you'll open up the Rodecaster Pro application that's on the desktop. And immediately you'll see that we have um, some sound effects preloaded. Um, on here. You can actually come in and add in your own sound effects and use them while you're while it's being recorded. So for example, if I wanted an applause, I just hit the applause button and now there's an applause playing on top. Or, you know, if I said a really lame joke, maybe I just want some crickets and I just have some crickets play or something like that. Um, and again, you can turn those on and off um, and configure them um, simply by uh, downloading or you know importing uh, those sound effects and then adding them in here and then it'll transmit them to the Rodecaster Pro and then you literally just hit a button and that's one of the jobs that you know the producer can do. Um, and then once you're all done with the podcast, you literally just hit the record button and at the back there is a micro SD card and you'll take that, use one of the card readers right here, um, or you can also use one of these and uh, pop it into your computer and take it with you and you know, do any post-production work if you want to or simply upload it. And that's it. Um, so yeah, if you uh, wanna come down and use this awesome podcasting setup, uh, come visit us, uh, Longmont Public Media. We're located in downtown Longmont um, on the corner of 4th and Kimbark. Our website, www.longmontpublicmedia.org. And we hope you enjoyed this LPM 101 video. Um, and come visit us and test out this awesome equipment for yourself. We hope to see you soon. Thanks.